The style of the eruption in the Schwarzenegger volcanic system of the Reckoness Peninsula in Iceland up to the March 2024 was in the way of a eruption which lasted only a few days. March 2024 eruption was different. It lasted now more than four weeks. The eruptions before that we thought that they are sourced this is the model that we have from a four to five kilometer magma source on the Schwarzenegger. Nine vents in this new eruption, which I have named all of them, and the one that is survived is I have called it K1. K1 has lasted now, is the only surviving one, and is providing a lot of you know, uh, lava through the lava stream and building practically a shield around it. We thought that this one is actually sourced from a magma reservoir sitting on the top of the mantle around 15 kilometers deep. It may not be the case. The previous models also suggested similar to this, and we have now a better image. The source of the magma in the Fegretes field was deeper than what we thought, but not as deep as 15 kilometers, which is the thickness of the lithosphere in the Reckoness Peninsula. The new study shows that this was not actually at the depth of the 15 kilometer. The source is within the earth crust, around 12 kilometers deep, which feeds the Swartzengi uh, magma storage, the shallower, at the depth of 4 to 5 kilometers. But at the same time, uh, some of it actually survives and reaches the Swartzengi volcanic system. In this new eruption, the K1, the crater I have named K1, and uh, practically is a less evolved magma from the depth with more evolved uh, magma from the Schwarzenegger mixed up and erupting at the K1.